Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Anne Whitfield, a versatile American actress whose talent spanned radio, television, stage, and film, passed away at the age of 85 after an incident while walking in her neighborhood in Washington. Born in Oxford, Mississippi, Whitfield's journey into acting began at a young age, with her radio debut in 1945 marking the start of a prolific career in the entertainment industry. On radio, Whitfield's voice brought to life a myriad of characters, from Pamela Richardson in The Baby Snook Show to Phyllis in The Phil Harris Alice Fay Show. Her performances on programs like One Man's Family and Our Miss Brooks showcased her exceptional range and contributed to the golden era of American radio. Whitfield's transition to stage and screen was seamless. She appeared in classic films such as White Christmas and television shows including Gunsmoke, Perry Mason, and One Man's Family, where she played Claudia Barber, a role that was a departure from her character in the radio version of the show. Her work alongside icons like Jack Nicholson and Robert Redford in their early television roles highlighted her influence and the respect she garnered among peers. Beyond her roles, Whitfield's dedication to her craft and ability to embody diverse characters left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Her favorite role as Sally Ellis in One Step Beyond epitomizes her talent for capturing the human spirit and connecting with audiences. Anne Whitfield's legacy as a stalwart of American entertainment will be cherished and remembered. Victoria Catlin, an accomplished artist, actor, and dedicated humanitarian, passed away at the age of 71, leaving behind a legacy that spanned the realms of performing arts and philanthropy. Born in Moline, Illinois, and later a long-term resident of Merriam, Kansas, Victoria's journey through life was as vibrant and impactful as her performances on stage and screen. Victoria's passion for the arts was evident from an early age leading her to explore diverse cultures and art forms, from spending a transformative year in Mexico to studying mime under the legendary Marcel Marceau in San Francisco. Her career in acting flourished with significant roles in television series like the original Twin Peaks and in films such as Ghoulies and Howling V, The Rebirth. Victoria's love for theater shone brightly during her involvement with the Odyssey Theater Ensemble, and her memorable performance in Zoot Suit at the Los Angeles Mark Taper Forum, a role that garnered international acclaim and a feature on the cover of the New York Times Magazine. Beyond her artistic endeavors, Victoria's compassion and commitment to bettering the world were evident through her work with numerous nonprofit organizations and her contributions to the realm of political activism. Her multifaceted career also included roles as a photo editor for the Disney Channel, a script consultant, and a reviewer for the Academy Awards, showcasing her diverse talents and dedication to the arts. Victoria Schechter Catlin's life was a testament to the power of creativity, compassion, and resilience. Her contributions to the arts and her efforts to make a positive impact on the world will be remembered and cherished. Barbara Baldwin, an esteemed American actress whose career spanned various roles on television and film, passed away from congestive heart failure at her home in Manhattan Beach, California, on March 31st, at the age of 85. Baldwin's acting prowess was most prominently displayed in dramatic roles, including her memorable portrayal of Angela Martin in the iconic series Star Trek. Her character, featured in pivotal episodes such as Balance of Terror and Shore Leave, left a lasting impression on the franchise and its fans. Baldwin's versatility as an actress was further evidenced by her roles in other notable television series like Adam-12, where she played Betty Wells and Sally Fisher in different episodes, and Medical Center as Nurse Holmby. Her appearance in Mannix showcased her ability to dive into complex characters 
enriching each storyline with her performances. Beyond her contributions in front of the camera, Baldwin transitioned into significant roles behind the scenes as a casting assistant, and later as the casting director for popular series like Trapper John Maryland and Dynasty. Her expertise and keen eye for talent helped shape the casts of these shows, leaving an indelible mark on the television landscape. Her personal life intertwined with her professional one when she married Joseph D'Agosta, a casting director she met on the set of Star Trek, symbolizing a union of two lives deeply rooted in the entertainment industry. Barbara Baldwin's legacy is not just in the roles she played or the casts she assembled, but in the memories she leaves with fans and colleagues alike. Her contributions to television and film will continue to be celebrated, ensuring her work endures in the annals of entertainment history. Joe Flaherty, a luminary in comedy and acting, passed away at the age of 82 on April 1st, following a short illness. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Flaherty's journey in entertainment began after serving in the United States Air Force, eventually leading him to the stages of the Second City Theater in Chicago. His move to Toronto to establish the Toronto Second City Troupe marked the beginning of an illustrious career that would make him a cornerstone of comedic television through his work on SCTV. Here, he introduced audiences to unforgettable characters like Count Floyd and Guy Caballero, showcasing his versatile talent and impeccable comedic timing. Flaherty's impact extended beyond SCTV, with memorable roles in films such as Back to the Future Part II and Happy Gilmore, and television shows including Freaks and Geeks where he played the unforgettable Harold Weir. His contributions to comedy were not confined to his performances. He also shaped future talents as a faculty member at Humber College, where he taught comedy writing. Beyond his professional achievements, Flaherty was a dedicated family man, survived by his two children, Gudrun and Gabriel, and his brothers, Paul and Dave, who are also embedded in the world of comedy writing. His legacy lives on through his vast body of work, his influence on the comedy landscape, and the laughter he brought to countless fans. Joe Flaherty's departure leaves a void in the hearts of those who knew him and the audiences who adored him. Vontae Davis, whose journey from the challenging streets of Washington, D.C. to NFL stardom is a testament to resilience and talent, was found dead at his home in Miami at the age of 35. As a cornerstone for the Miami Dolphins, Indianapolis Colts, and Buffalo Bills, Davis's legacy is not just in his abrupt retirement in 2018, but also in the way he navigated life's complexities with grace and determination. Known for his exceptional athletic prowess, Davis's career was marked by two All-Pro selections, testament to his skill and dedication on the field. His personal story, from a tumultuous childhood to achieving professional acclaim, inspired many, culminating in the publication of Middle School Rules, a book aimed at sharing life lessons with children. This endeavor highlighted a man who, beyond his athletic achievements, sought to impact the world positively. Despite personal challenges, including a recent arrest that hinted at struggles beyond the public eye, Davis remained a figure of inspiration. The tributes pouring in from figures like Colts owner Jim Irsay and former teammates like Pat McAfee and T.Y. Hilton underscore the respect and love many held for him. Davis's passing leaves a void in the hearts of fans, friends, and family including his brother, Vernon Davis. Reflecting on the transient nature of life and the enduring spirit of those who strive to overcome adversity, Chance Perdomo, a gifted actor whose dual heritage and transatlantic upbringing enriched his performances, tragically passed away at the age of 27 following a motorcycle accident. Born in Los Angeles and raised in Southampton, England, Perdomo's early passion for theater set the stage for a career marked by compelling performances and critical acclaim. His nomination for a British Academy Television Award for Killed by My Debt highlighted his ability to tackle challenging roles with depth and sensitivity. Perdomo's portrayal of Ambrose Spellman in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina brought him international fame, showcasing his versatility and charisma. His role in Gen Feeve as Andre Anderson promised to further cement his status as a rising star.
Beyond his television and film achievements, Perdomo's journey from a young man working in a shoe shop to a celebrated actor is a testament to his determination and talent. His untimely death not only halts a promising career, but also leaves fans and colleagues mourning the loss of a bright talent gone too soon. Perdomo's contributions to the arts and his impactful performances will continue to inspire and resonate with audiences around the world. The decision to delay the production of Gen V's second season reflects the deep impact of his passing on the entertainment community. Perdomo's legacy is that of a young actor who, in his brief career, touched the hearts of many and left an indelible mark on the world of acting. His memory will live on through his work, remembered for his remarkable talent and the roles he brought to life with passion and authenticity. Jennifer Leake, a talented Canadian actress remembered for her poignant role as Colleen North in the 1968 film Yours, Mine and Ours, passed away at the age of 76 on March 18, 2024, in Jupiter, Florida. Leek's battle with progressive supranuclear palsy over the last seven years of her life showcased her resilience in the face of adversity. Born in Cardiff, Wales, and raised in diverse locales from Hertfordshire, England to Nova Scotia, and Jerusalem, Leek's early life was as vibrant and varied as her career. Leek's entry into the world of acting came at 17, leading her from the Canadian television scene to Hollywood, where she quickly made her mark alongside Lucille Ball. Her career spanned memorable roles in soap operas such as Another World and Guiding Light, as well as a groundbreaking character arc in The Young and the Restless, where her character transitioned from a prostitute to a nun. Leek's versatility and depth as an actress were also evident in guest appearances on shows like Macmillan and Wife and Hawaii Five-0. Beyond the screen, Leek's life was filled with personal highs and lows, including her marriage to actor Tim Matheson and later to James Daria. Her legacy in the film and television industry is one of talent, perseverance, and the ability to connect deeply with audiences across a variety of roles. Jennifer Leake's contributions to entertainment will not be forgotten, her performances continuing to inspire and move those who watch her work. Steve Lawrence, a beloved figure in American entertainment, passed away at the age of 88 on March 7, due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. Born Sidney Leibowitz in Brooklyn, New York, Lawrence rose to fame as one half of the pop vocal duo Steve and Aidy, alongside his wife, Aidy Gourmet. Their performances on Tonight Starring Steve Allen and their continued success as a duo until Gourmet's retirement in 2009 left an indelible mark on the music and television industries. Lawrence's talents extended beyond singing into acting, where he charmed audiences as Maury Sline in The Blues Brothers. His career was filled with memorable hits like Go Away Little Girl, and his contributions to television were vast, spanning from appearances on The Tonight Show to CSI. A true entertainer, Lawrence's work on Broadway and his participation in films further showcased his versatility and depth as a performer. Steve's personal life was as rich as his career, marked by his loving marriage to Gourmet, and the profound impact of their son Michael's untimely death. The couple's resilience and dedication to each other and their family resonated deeply with their fans. In his later years, Lawrence bravely faced Alzheimer's disease, sharing his diagnosis publicly and battling the illness with grace. Steve Lawrence's legacy is one of exceptional talent, warmth, and an enduring spirit. His contributions to music and entertainment will continue to inspire future generations.